What's poppin' guys? Primary Chow here, and you know, I felt like making a joke video, so I'm gonna make a joke video. This is gonna be on my first and probably my only top 10, because I'm not good at like listing stuff. But, I was in the Discord yesterday, or not even yesterday, it was today, it was just that it was 12 a.m. And we were ranting, I was like, man, I really hate this. And now I'm gonna make a top 10 worst things that the human race has ever come up with. So here we go, coming in at number 10 is gonna be Daylight Savings. Uh, the reason I hate Daylight Savings is because it's actually very, very useless. I don't know what anybody ever uses it for. As you can see right here, it is the practice of advancing clocks during warmer months so that darkness falls later easier. Why? I don't get that. So I'm in I'm in high school right now, right? 10th grade, currently. And with that, you know, I have a lot of assignments. I have a lot of work I, I need to do and get done. And by the time I'm finally able to get my work done, you know, I can go outside and get my vitamin D, my very necessary vitamin D, my exercise, my cardio practices, etc. I can't do that as much anymore. You know why? Because as soon as I finish, you know, I finish school at 3.30 p.m. I got like hours worth of work. As soon as I finish the work, I look outside. It's pitch black. It's blacker than my skin, nigga. I, I, I can't believe, like, I don't know why we have daylight savings. You know what? Let me Google this right now. What is the point of daylight savings? Yeah, right here, right here, right here. The main purpose of daylight savings that called summertime is to make better use of daylight. We change our thoughts. Okay, you know what? I feel like the time should just stay the way it is. Okay, and uh, coming in at number nine, right? Number nine is going to be uh, man. I probably should have scripted this out better. Number nine is going to be high school bathrooms. Yes, high school bathrooms. Probably one of the worst thing that human beings have come up with. And if you don't already know, high school bathrooms are probably the filthy public bathrooms in general, man. Are probably the filthiest places you'll ever visit. And you're like, you see this? You see how clean this is? This is a lie. This is a lie. It may be clean right here, but if you go into this stall right here, you're definitely walking in on a broken toilet with piss and feces and all types of stuff inside of it. I, I wouldn't even be surprised if I went to school and I saw this in my toilet, bro. I would not be shocked at all. Uh, so yeah, that's why public bathrooms in general, they're awful. They're disgusting. Don't use public bathrooms ever. You can definitely wait until you get home. You can hold it. Let me remove all this stuff. Uh, don't worry about my searches, bro. It does not matter. It, it really does not matter. But <clears throat> coming at number eight, we have off-brand snacks. Now, I don't know why these this stuff exists, especially Takis, bro. I don't know who came up with Takis. I don't know who came up with Takis. But as you can see, they're like mini snack, but they're like, they're basically worse hot Cheetos, if I'm being honest, you know, they're just worse hot Cheetos. So the point of Takis and off-brand snacks in general is that they're supposed to be like, oh, well, we're going to get copyrighted if we call it this. So what if we just made the exact same snack, right? But we gave it a different name. Like, I don't understand. What's the point of that, man? That doesn't make sense to me. So I'm, you know, what is this? Whales, bro? No, this is just, it's literally goldfish. Look at it. Bro, <laughs> cream betweens, they're just Oreos, dude. <laughs> Nut master, it's just Nutella. Ditos are just Doritos. There's no point. You don't need this. I don't know why it exists. Coming in at number seven, we have anime. Now, I'm probably going to get a ton of dislikes on this video, but the reason I'm putting anime on this list is not because of anime. Oh, actually, no, no. Part of it is because of anime itself, but it's also because of the community that comes with it. The anime community is filled with weird people, bro. Like, and when I say weird people, I mean weird people. I deactivated my Twitter, so I can't show you, like, evidence of this. But you shouldn't need evidence. You should just have general knowledge that the anime community is sus. P pedophiles. Perverts. Weird people just in general with no social skills. I'm not saying everybody in the anime community or everybody who watches anime is like this. It's just the general majority of what you see on the internet. This is how they act. And it's like, you know what? Some somebody has told me your power Twitter. See, see this, this. I'm not gonna click search because I don't want that on my history. But you should just know if you, if you look up that video and you watch it in full, I salute you. You're a you're you're a prophet. I don't know how you can get through that. But <sighs> watch Attack on Titan. Though. That's the only one I'll tell you. Coming in at number six, we have public benches. Now I know what you're thinking. How can public benches? such a convenient item be a bad thing like what no H humanity did not miss on that you know that was a good thing i'm here to tell you that these things much like public restrooms 
are disgusting, bro. Like, imagine you're at the park, right? You know, you got your kids, and then you got little Timmy and medium Timothy, right? And, you know, it's little Timmy. You know, he's walking. He's having fun in the park. And he comes in. He's like, man, I'm tired, so I'm going to go sit down in this park. And then Uncle Billy comes and sits next comes and sits next to little Timmy on that bench. Boom, sexual assault case right there. Like, there's nothing he can do. Something's happened. Don't sit on public park benches, bro. Like, I, also birds poop on them and stuff. We really should have put an umbrella on them. And they're also mad uncomfortable, bro. They're all made of wood. Why are you sitting on wood? Look, this looks so uncomfortable. Why is he arched like that, man? I can't, I can't, I can't. Get yourself... Get yourself one of those lawn chairs and just take it with you. I promise you, it's worth it. Get yourself a lawn chair. Coming in at number five, which 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 7. Yeah, okay, we're at number five. Coming in at number five of top 10 worst things that human beings have ever invented, we have public American education. Now, you know what? Normally, I put this at number one, but I can definitely think of stuff that's a lot worse than it. Let me take a sip of my water. I've been talking a lot. Now, public American education, for the most part, not even for the most part, entirely has been an awful system for 200 years. Uh, look, 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 look. This is the third result if you go to Google Images. Wait, maybe not. Hold up, wait, no, 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 Never mind, never mind. Disregard that, disregard that. But um, yeah, it's, it's just a cesspool of stress, bacteria, not bacteria, stress, and high expectations and false, you know, False hope. You, you, they, they lie to the kids. They lie about America's history. They try to make, oh, we're the best car. Ah, ah, patriotism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We win all the wars. No, we lost to, uh, we lost to, we lost a lot of wars. We killed a lot of people for no reason. We're a bad country. And they also are like, oh, if you don't do this, this specific way in this specific format, the way I specifically taught you, if you have any sort of individuality or think for yourself in any way, you're a bad student and you will not succeed in life. They don't say that outright, but it's pretty implied in the way that they do. Like, come on. If you just listen, they're not going to say those exact words, but that's that's what they mean. So um, coming in at the number four spot, we actually have Golden Corral. Now, I know what you're thinking. Trout, Golden Corral has delicious food. Objection. The food may taste good, but that is a buffet. I know you see that word right there, buffet. And when you see the word buffet... Nothing good will ever come of it, all right? That is a cesspool of bacteria and germs and nasty niggas and fat people. And I'm not going to I'm not gonna go anymore into this. But if you... Dude, the chocolate fountain? The chocolate fountain at Golden Corral? That thing is disgusting. This right here? Don't, don't dip your stuff in that, bro. I guarantee you, it is the nastiest thing you'll ever see in your entire life. People, kids sticking their sweaty... Cheeto puff fingers in there, people spit in there, people eat out of it, and the employees don't do anything about it. They're getting paid $15, not even $15 an hour to be serving this disease-ridden food, bro. The employees deserve better. I feel I feel bad for them the most. They gotta be around this all day. It's I I, I <sighs> Golden Crowd, top four worst things human beings have ever created. Coming in at the number three spot, we have Canada. Now listen. Listen, before I have any Canadian viewers dislike and click off this video, what has Canada given us? I want a list of five things in the comment section. And if you can give me five convincible things that Canada has given us, I will pin and heart your comment. Uh, hold up, I'll be right back. Yep. I don't need anything. I'm doing something right now. I'm busy. Uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, Canada has not given us anything. Number two is uh, 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 Donald Trump is the second worst thing humanity has given us. No explanation needed. Number one is White Girl Wednesday. Also, no explanation needed. Like, be, like. Those last, number one and number two should not need to be explained why those are the two worst things that human beings have ever created for any reason whatsoever. Leave a like, a sub, and your address so I can thank you personally, and I gotta go. Peace.